This is a 24KB intron from the human genome. It has a relatively uh, complex uh, structure, um, but you can show where the, uh, the various uh, dice or stems are located by first cutting off the RNA loops and then cutting off the small stems. And now if I flick the dice or stems on and off, you can see where they uh, occur in the um, in the complete structure. Of course the the um, prune structure of this does the same thing. You can turn off the dicer stems. There are 19 dicer stems in this uh, uh, sequence. The, um, this is the, f the um, dicer decomposition of the wild type uh, structure. Uh, if we turn off the green you can see the um, structure of the um, of the decomposition rather nicely. So here's the uh, original sequence and here are the 3 times 19 uh, fragments that uh, result from decomposing the mutations of the um, of the original sequence. So so what I've done uh, is I've uh, systematically gone and mutated just one base in each of the dicer stems. And uh, what we'll do in the subsequent images is we'll show just the decomposition when only this space has been changed, or later when this space has been changed, or when that base has been changed, or when this space has been changed. So that the the uh, this is the the uh, structure of the of the original uh, wild type, and you see that the um, levels uh, two, three, four, five. Level six has very few um, uh, refoldings that occur, um, and that uh, the number of um, uh, fragments that are produced by the various levels are shown. At level four produces the greatest number of fragments. Level five does too, uh, but then level six produces only a few uh, fragments, and so the fragments can be seen uh, here um, in all of their uh, glory, um, like this. So this is the complete uh, dicer decomposition of the uh, wild type uh, structure. Now in contrast to this uh, structure where we can see the particular uh, particular um, structure of the particularly level uh, 6 here. Um, if we look at, at this, this is the first mutant. Um, here you see that the dicer decomposition is, is, is remarkably different um, and that uh, you can uh, see the effect. And this is just one base change in, in one of the dicer stems that has caused the alteration uh, of this uh, de decomposition uh, process. This is uh, the second mut mutant. And so you see it's uh, uh, level six is also, now you remember what's happening here is that uh, the first uh, sequence is decomposed, that produces a round of, of second decompositions. Each one of them is refolded and decomposed. But whenever there are, um, are, are similar sequences, then you stop the, uh, the de decompos decomposition process. And so you see that there are holes that develop uh, here, for example, is a set of sequences that already are either small or uh, or, or too large, uh, that no longer have any dice or stems in them and do not need to be refolded. Uh, so this is the way the process uh, stays uh, within bounds. Uh, this is just one of the mutants. Uh, here's another mutant, um, and you see it's uh, the decomposition is similar, uh, seven, uh, 
image 7 here. This, this decomposition process is different once again. Um, again, different. Um, so I'm just running through each of the decompositions to show you that each one of them is in fact uh, different and they'll produce um, this will produce possibly a different set of fragments down at the bottom here and all of these fragments are between 20 bases and a thousand bases which is the range of uh, utility in the RNAs. Um, again here's another decomposition uh, similar to ones we've seen before. So I can go through each of these in turn or just randomly and here's one that stops you know there at level six in this particular way. Again here uh, this is uh, another one. So the the last image is really uh, they're all 19 of these things. <laughs> uh, different one yet. Uh, but the last image is the one that uh, is really the most interesting. So um, these are the fragments uh, produced by the Dicer decomposition. And um, what I'm going to do is turn off every one of the switches. I have to do this manually. Uh, but of course as you do this you see that each of the rings is uh, disappearing now. And uh, so now I'm left with just the wild type. So this is the pattern of fragments that are generated by um, only the, the wild type uh, sequence. So now if I, if I turn on one of the mutants you can see that this mutant is um, produces different fragments, no, no question. For example here uh, these white, uh, I'll turn off the green, the white is like this and the green is the wild type behind it. But you see that every class of, of um, sequence is, um, is generated. Now they're generated in different ways so the white segments are uh, different levels. I mean the levels aren't so important as much as the length. So this length here is roughly equivalent to this length here in the green one. Um, so that uh, there will be the longer fragments produced but and some of the uh, even the white ones there and the shorter fragments. Um, so but you see that each class, this, 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 and this are produced. Now I found one when I looked at this area that we're, oh yeah, see so here uh, there are no yellow, um, no yellow fragments produced for this, um, this pattern here. Now I mean at the moment I don't know whether these sequences uh, these little RNA fragments are used in any particular way. I mean we'll find out about that later as we do genome-wide uh, association studies, uh, uh, systematic studies. But, but what this graphic very nicely shows is that you cannot, um, uh, the decomposition uh, of this particular mutant does not produce fragments in this, uh, in this region here. Whereas this also not, this not, it's not. Oh, but see here, the uh, this decomposition, this mutant, which is again differs from the wild type by only one base, uh, does produce fragments in this region here. Uh, this this fragment does that. Um, this mutation does that. Again, here is okay. Here is okay. So, we, for example, over here you get decompositions. And so what we see is that the um, decomposition process, which is induced by only one base change in the uh, sequence, is really quite different. And that uh, this uh, probably is uh, very important. Uh, that the mutations uh, produce a different uh, factoring of the uh, sequence into fragments and that these fragments um, uh, may have some significance. Uh, so I thank you for looking at this and uh, what you want to do is download the structure from Facebook and play with it yourself. Thank you.